2021. Happy birthday to Christian and Mrs. Brenneman's virtual class and Weston in Mrs. Reger's room. On Saturday, we want to wish, wish Gage from Mrs. Leitner's room and Aubrey from Mrs. Bowers' class a very happy birthday. On Sunday, it will be time for Miss Porter, one of our favorite third grade teachers, to celebrate her birthday. Stay tuned for our core value announcement about peace. We hope that everyone has an incredible weekend. Peace is a feeling of tranquility and calmness. It's our ability to care more about others and less about our differences. Are you currently at war with someone? How can you reach a peaceful res resolution? It is up to you. Today in history. According to tradition, the great English dramatist and poet William Shakespeare is born on this date, April 23rd in 1564. It is impossible to be certain the exact day of which he was born, but church records show that he was baptized on April 26, and three days was the customary amount of time to wait before baptizing a newborn. Shakespeare's date of death is conclusive, conclusively known, however, it is April 23, 1616. He was 52 years old and had retired to Stratford three years before. Although few plays have been performed or analyzed as extensively as the 38 plays ascribed to William Shakespeare, there are few surviving details about the playwright's life. The dearth of biographical information is due primarily to his station in life. The events of William Shakespeare's early life can only be gleaned from official records, such as baptism and marriage records. Shakespeare died in 1616. Today, over 400 years later, his plays are performed and read more often and in more nations than ever before. In a million words written over 20 years, he captured the full range of human emotions and conflicts with a precision that remains sharp today. As his great contemporary, the poet and dramatist Ben Jonson said, he was not of an age, but for all time. Today we are going to focus on what is going on around us. We are going to start with our eyes open this time. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We are going to focus on finding at least five things that we can see. I want you to really notice the things around you without turning your head. Just stay still where you are and look with your eyes to find five things. Look closely. Do you notice anything you have looked over before? Think about the things you can see without turning your head. What do they look like? What do you notice now that you didn't notice before? When you are ready, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Hey, good morning, Bears Hill. Mr. Clancic here. And hey, we just want to send out a reminder for everybody here. This is for students, for staff. Just a reminder that we need to make sure that we are wearing our face mask appropriately. All right? Uh, we shouldn't see your nose at the end of your nose at all. Shouldn't see your mouth at all. And um, especially now, it seems like cases of COVID are increasing here in York County and in Hanover. We want to keep everyone safe. So please, 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 just a reminder, making sure that we are wearing our face mask and uh, you shouldn't have to have teachers asking you throughout the course of the day about putting your face mask up, especially when you're on the bus. We had some drivers that wanted to say, hey, Mr. Klanzik, some of the kids are not wearing their mask. So please make sure we're doing that. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, we'd like to go ahead and end the announcements. Um, but before we do, we hope that you have a super day learning here at Bearsville. And um, we just want to remind you about this Bearsville expectations. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe. And respect everyone. At this time, we're asking everyone to please stand for the playing of the national anthem, and then you'll do the pledge in your classroom. Have a great day, everyone. Mm -hmm. 